<clears throat> okay, so editor default formatter defines a default formatter which takes precedence over all other formatter settings. Must be the identifier of an extension contributing a formatter. And by default, this is set to null. Now, um, my favorite formatter by far is Prettier. And to use Prettier here, you have to install this extension, which I already have installed. Um, so it's called Prettier Code Formatter, and uh, it, it's not Prettier now or anything else. It's the one with 12.5 uh, million downloads. Probably by the time you get here, it may be more. Anyway, it's the one that has the most downloads by far. So inst you install this, uh, this extension, and now you have access um, you can have access to its um, identifier and to take a look at the identifier you have two options you can either control space so that you uh, pull up auto complete and it's it's right here uh, ASP uh, ESP ENP prettier VS code or um, if you want to you know it, you can see them all here of course but I find it's a little bit easier to just um, go to the default settings so you can uh, open the default settings and look for um, what was the setting default formatter Oops. there we go and by default this is set to null and you have all the identifiers here right so we're gonna use this one right here which is a plugin for Prettier. So let's put that in. And now your default formatter is Prettier and Prettier will take care of formatting pretty much everything inside VS Code. You know, um, a ton of languages uh, and then indentation. And if you, should, if, if you should use spaces or tabs, commas, semicolons, uh, I mean semicolons uh, and a bunch of other stuff. Now. I like Prettier because if you come to the its official page, with, which is uh, prettier.io, um, it works with a lot of languages. You know, JavaScript, JSX, Flow, TypeScript, JSON, HTML, Vue, Angular, CSS, Lasses, CSS, GraphQL, Markdown, YAML, Java, PHP, Ruby, Swift, Toml. You have a lot of uh, languages that um, Prettier support. Um, so, and also you can use Prettier in a lot of um, editors, but you know, we're using VS Code, it's the one that matters for us. So Prettier is pretty cool, and all you have to do is just install this extension, and you're good to go. You don't have to install anything else. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna go, we're gonna go into uh, Prettier's settings, and I'm, I'm eager to jump into that because when you install the extension, you actually get these, uh, these settings that you can change um, and they will automatically format your code exactly uh, as you want it to, which is awesome. Uh, but uh, we're not gonna get into that here in this video. Um, we're getting, gonna get into that in, uh, in a video that talks specifically about Prettier. So yeah, I would leave the default formatter with this uh, identifier having Prettier installed.